me again. Welcome back to Rediscovering the Age of Eventis Gallery. This week we have a very special theme. It's called Magical Brushstrokes. And we are going to discover the work of the French artist Paul Signac. And we're going to take a look into one of the most interesting artistic movements called Pointillism. Paul Signac was born in Paris in 1863. He was a very, very skilled sailor and he would often get on boats and sail around, which gave him the opportunity to see and explore a lot of different places and of course to paint these different places. And we can see that he really, really, really loved seeing all the natural elements of the world. And so that's why he painted them a lot. And I think that's true for most artists that what they liked, they used to paint. Or what made them happy, they used to paint. Think about it. Would you want to paint something that you didn't like? Or something that you found to be ugly or not inspiring? Or would you want to paint something that gave you joy and happiness and excitement? Now here we're taking a look at a painting called The Barge at Samoa that was painted in 1901. So that's 119 years ago. And this was painted using a very special technique called pointillism. Now when you look at this painting, what do you see? What time of the day do you think it was? What period of the year do you think it was? Where do you think um, uh, Signac was standing to capture this view that we see here? How does this painting and the colors that you see in this painting make you feel? What sort of emotions does it bring out? Did you look closely at the painting? I'm sure that if you did, you would notice that this painting is made up of lots and lots of tiny little dots, or dabs, or points. Now if you remember before, I mentioned the name of the technique, which is also the name of the movement, the name of the technique that Signac used to paint this, and it's called pointillism. So, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you take the first word, it means points, and ism is something that we find at the end of a lot of art movements. So what do we think Signac did? He squeezed a little bit of paint on his palette, he used his paintbrush right here, and did little, little, little dots next to each other to create this wonderful painting here. Now, what exactly is pointillism and what makes it so special? Well, to begin with, unlike most artists, pointillist artists didn't actually mix the colors on the palette, but they would put sort of sections of color onto their palette and then use them individually, dot by dot, brushstroke by brushstroke, to put, putting them together to create their painting. So when we look at the painting, a pointillist painting that is, close up, we can actually see that each individual's dot is made out of a different color. But when we stand further away from the painting at a distance, we can see that these colors sort of mix and the painting looks kind of like this whole image. And, and we start losing this sort of differentiation between each dot. Now probably it's better if you have a chance, you come to the Asian event, Ventis Gallery, so you can see the magic happen in real life. But either way, I'm sure you're wondering how exactly this works. Why, when we see a painting from a distance, do all of these little dots kind of get lost and, and we see color in our eyes instead? Well, this is because pointillism isn't just connected to art. It isn't just a way of painting. 
but it has to do with the science of seeing. When you put a lot of colors next to each other, made out of little dots, the human eye mixes them together and brings out new colors. And this is actually how our screens work. So looking at me right now, or actually not me right now, but looking at whatever you're seeing on your computer or on your phone or on your iPad, you're actually seeing tiny, tiny little dots, tiny little pixels that bring together, that put together, create the image that you're seeing. So in a sense, you're kind of experiencing your own pointillist painting every time that you look at a computer screen. All right, now we're gonna take a look at a few paintings that have been created using pointillism. creativity, our imagination, and of course, all of our senses. So let's dive into the painting and go back 119 years ago. You ready? Now, close your eyes and try to use all of your senses, through your imagination, of course. What do you see in front of you? What can you hear? What can you smell? Where are you? And what are you doing? Opening your eyes, try and share this experience if somebody's with you. Or if you want, write it down. Or what might be even more fun is if you're drawing this wonderful experience. Also, See what you have around the house, whether it's musical instruments, you have your hands, you have your voice, you might have some pots and pans, to kind of bring to life all of the sounds that you were hearing. How did this trip make you feel? I felt calmness and tranquility, like I was sitting next to the sea and sort of hearing the water with the air blowing and I could hear the birds. And then I felt really, really warm from all of the sun on my face as I was laying down on the soft green grass. What a wonderful, relaxing trip that was. Now, as we said earlier, Sinyak loved, loved, loved the sea, the water, and boats, and nature. And now, we are going to choose a special subject that we love, and we're going to paint it using the technique we learned about today, pointillism. So, let's head together to Renoir's workshop. Welcome to Renoir's workshop. Today, as we said earlier, we are going to make our own pointillist painting. So let's start off with the materials that we need. We need somewhere to put our paints where they can be separate. We need our paints, of course. We need a piece of paper, preferably large so we have some space, and a bit thick so that the paint doesn't kind of become really heavy and seep through. We need our magical cotton earbuds and a pencil. And then, of course, we need to choose our subject. So what we said was we'll try to do something that makes us happy, something that we love, something that makes us smile. So I am going to do my own drawing 
which is going to be a flower because I really, really like flowers. And they are colorful, colorful by nature. So let's see. I'm just kind of going freely here. Some of my petals are bigger, some are smaller. It doesn't really matter. And then you do your outline. Now this is the important part. If you remember before, we talked about how pointillist artists don't mix their paints on the canvas nor on the palette. So what we're going to do is, I have one, two, three, four, five colors here. So I'm going to take five earbuds, one for each color. I'm not sure I'm going to use all the colors, but if I am, this is how it's going to go. So. Let's start. feel free to send it to us over Facebook, over Instagram, in an email, get your parents to help. And we hope you enjoyed our program today and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!